All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. This is the weekly advice for the sign of Cancer. All right, Cancer, we're going to start by pulling one of these Archangel Tarot cards for your general message, and then we'll use the tarot to clarify and break it down. Okay, guys, before we jump into this, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, when you send me good energy, I send my good energy back. So if you just came to talk shit, throw shade, I just turn the sender off this channel. Okay, guys? All right, Cancer. Let's start by getting to your general message. What is your general message? We have the moon. Solutions at the bottom. The moon says, the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. All right, Cancer. The opportunity the opportunity to improve your plans. Is this love? Is it work? It, it could be work. You have some truth that, okay. The moon does talk about secrets. Um, so maybe you have some clarity, something that came to light that um, maybe you're, you, you're using your intuition and you're like, okay, I know that's what that is. You have maybe this truth is making you face your fears. What is this? Because it could be like speaking some kind of truth. Maybe it could be coming in with some harsh um, communication to people that you actually love. So it's like having to scold your child or having to have a, a tough conversation with your employees or, you know, something like that. Yeah, it, it could be a decision that you're making, maybe at work. You're holding strong to what it is that you're doing, and it's bringing a tower for maybe some of the people around. Why, though? Okay, I'm getting like a work wife or a work husband. Maybe you're like, no more fooling around. We're not doing that anymore kind of thing. <laughs> and they're like, wait, what? Um, I heard I'll, I'll, I'll play no work. Mm, they're like, okay, so they want to know why, why? Why are we not? Okay, yeah, okay. So this could be a situation where a boss is like, we're changing the way we do things. And you're holding strong. This boss is holding strong to the decision that they have made. Okay, it's causing a tower moment for someone. Maybe their work wife or their work husband because they're like, okay, we're not doing this anymore. And th this person wants to know why, right? Okay, so that's what this tough communication is. Um, it's some clarity, some truth that's coming out. You're using your intuition. Whoever this reading is for, this emperor, king of pentacles, king of cups, this is all the same uh, masculine. Um, this masculine is also bringing in this a really tough message to this person saying, look, we're not, do I might... I mean, this person might have a lot of love for this person, and they're just like, no, we're not doing this anymore. Putting up boundaries to this person. Cutting them out. About this wand, it's like this wand, like he's not giving this wand to this person anymore, and that's like making this person lose their shit. <laughs> they are sad. They are sad they're not going to get it anymore. Wow. It must be... I don't know. It must be good if this person's all like just having a tower moment. I mean, this is a bit drastic. It's not even a five of cups sad. Like, oh man, it, this is like this person is having a, like they are fucking melting down because 
Man, I don't know. Who are you? Who are you, Cancer? <laughs> oh my god, this person is having the. Oh my god. They are freaking the fuck out. Yeah, it's this Emperor. They're with the Ace of Wands. That's what it is. Like this. <clears throat> wow. This person has it like tattooed in their mind how like great it is they are so sad that you're moving away and they just can't understand why they're going around and around in their head again they're in the head you fuck this person up cancer <laughs> you fuck this person up in the head man oh my god you gave it so good to them that you scrambled their brain dude you scramble this bitch's brain. <laughs> Damn, Cancer. Oh my God. That's why you can't be reckless with it, man. Because then when you want to, you know, break free from them, uh, you know, you have all these headaches because you were just being reckless, throwing your wand around, scrambling all these bitches' brains. <laughs> now, that, now you have a headache, man. <laughs> now these bitches are <laughs> oh my god oh my god cancer you are too much man oh my god so this bitch is like freaking the fuck out she's having a tower moment because you you're taking it away <laughs> and <laughs> this person is having a fucking meltdown man they could be causing all kinds of chaos for you let's see what this tower is you know this talks about how they're like Oh my god, I'm not taking all these. Okay, so we have the high priestess, the emperor. Well, I'm gonna take them. Um, okay, so the reason why this person's in their head is because they know that you wanna you wanna grow somewhere else, you know. You don't want to set set down roots with this person, their your work husband or work wife. No, it's your work wife. <clears throat> So they know that you don't want to like plant roots with them, that you, you want to go somewhere else. And that's what has this person in their head, or at least that's what they're thinking. That's what they're thinking. It doesn't have to be. That's what it is. That's just what they're thinking that you're, you're wanting to move towards someone else and, you know, plant roots with this person or with that, you know, you don't want to settle down with them. You're moving towards someone else. And that's why they're having this tower moment. <laughs> yeah they they maybe they thought you were gonna you were gonna commit to them but the truth is um the truth is cancer you 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 could have maybe um gained the clarity or the truth that this person was really only holding on to you for your for your money because you are the king of pentacles right you're the king of pentacles <laughs> so you're pretty, pretty stable. And that's what they wanted. They wanted your stability, the security of your stability. Yeah, that's what they were plotting and scheming for was money. And they thought that they could play off of your um, um, lustful and your lustful nature. <laughs> you know, they thought they could work their magic and keep you bound to them but it backfired and now they're like losing their mind because you're taking it away from them that you know their magic backfired <laughs> damn yeah they wanted you they thought their magic would have you connected to them and that you wouldn't walk away you wouldn't you wouldn't find yep they wanted your money they want your money and now that you're trying to find balance and in, um, in your life you understand to find balance in your life, you have to move away from this person. And this person thinks that it's you're only moving away from them because you're moving towards someone else. So that's what they're thinking. That's why the tower is here. So they're thinking that you, um, you want someone else when in reality, it's like you just want balance and um, peace in your life. <clears throat> so yeah, their magic backfired, yo. So let's look at this Ace of Wands. <laughs> okay, 
you're saying no more, no more. The wheel, judgment. Um, you're trying to find, um, with the compass, I'm like getting your, trying to find the right direction. And you know that you're, it's like you're calling judgment on yourself. Like I can't be having these third parties if I want to find my, my true, my true north. You could be trying to find your north node like your your path your your spiritual calling yeah so that's why you pulled it away from them you're not giving it to them anymore because you understand what it is wow this is actually really powerful <clears throat> people think people think maybe people around you are telling you that you have your head in the clouds that you need to be focused on what you know what's down here you know family work anything that brings stability finances like yeah again with the you know I'm getting this head in this in the clouds kind of energy you're not seeing things clearly that's what people um that you're getting carried away I'm getting that you're carried away whatever you're 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 wanting to move towards and take a chance on you're getting your you're getting carried away that's what people are trying to you know Trying to make you believe. <clears throat> you need to be focused. Yeah, they're they're trying to create conflict with you know, <clears throat> telling you that you need to be focused on just the material, the money. Okay. But you already have a lot, you know. This is. I have everything, but there's no color to life because I'm just stuck to this mundanity of whatever this business is and you're in this state where you're like I, I, I need something new I need this for my spirit I need to find my path I already have all the money I already have all the material things that this world has to offer I need to find my path. It's like your spirit is needing this. And that's what you're doing. And so people don't understand it. So this person that's having this crisis because you're not sleeping with them anymore can't understand that it's not because you're moving towards another person, but I'm trying to detox. I'm trying to cleanse myself. I'm trying to find my path. And this person can't understand that they are not part of your path if anything they're a blockage in your path they're an obstacle and when you cut them out they're like oh my god <laughs> how you know and but you're holding strong to what what you the decisions you have made and you are yeah i mean <laughs> face your fears and grow stronger you are Trust, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. I think you are listening to your intuition and you are you are going on, on the right in the right direction. Face your fears and grow stronger. I think the face your fears has to do with um, um, <laughs> standing up for yourself in the face of people who just um, want to make you feel like again, you know he, you know you have your head in the clouds. But there's a lot of wisdom to what you're doing. They, these are just people that want to take from you. Look how the hands are right here. You know, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and they're, they're afraid that if you go on this path that they can't continue to receive from you. And that, that, makes, them, that makes them fearful. So they want to create fear in your life. You know, move um, towards the things that bring um, out your 
creativity, inspiration, your passions, you know. You can have lots of things you're passionate about, so it's time to explore those things. Yeah, stay on your path and you're going to have, you're going to keep your position, your abundance. You're going to have the world, Spirit says. All you're, you're needing is, you know, some genuine friendship, genuine love. And if you take that chance, you're going to get that. Don't let people try to deceive you or mislead you. Um, yeah. You've been waiting for this. You have the clarity. You've been waiting for this. You've been watching. And that's what's helping you um, see past the illusions. And that's why you're able to move away. You know you're going to have victory. You know you're going to have victory. You just needed to call judgment on the things that did not serve you. So, all right, Cancer, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped you in any way that it was supposed to. Don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personal readings if you feel called to do so. Okay, guys? If not, and this is where I leave you, have a great one, Cancer.